Hey there and welcome back. In this video I am going to be sharing a few tips on procedural modeling. So the first one is on how to control the extrusion shape. If for example you need to create a tapering effect like you see in these shapes. I'm starting with this shape with the normals pointing inward. And now with some basic facts I can manipulate the normals with a ramp based on the curve view. And on the extrude node, you can set the mode to point normal and make sure you use the existing normals. Then you can play with the ramp shape to get the desired result. Now in this example, I wanted to create some horizontal tiles divided into vertical sections while maintaining the initial shape of the cylinder. So starting with the tube and creating some UVs with the flattened UV node, and here I am flattening the cylinder using the UV attribute and mapping it to the position. Now as I said before I need to create horizontal randomly sized tiles. So for now I am going to get rid of the vertical subdivisions and create the horizontal ones. Basically using the fit function and the bounding box Y component. If you want, you can grab the scene files from my Patreon, where you can find dozens of project files from my videos and hours of exclusive tutorials. And for the tiles I am using the lot subdivision nodes, which is the perfect node for this setup, but takes into consideration the initial topology, that's why I just fed the horizontal subdivisions. Then I am adding back the vertical subdivision so I can deform it back to the initial cylindrical shape. As you can see we kept the initial shape adding the desired tiles. Still on the tiles I wanted to break some of them along the ends of the shape. So after the material fracture I am assembling the pieces. Then I need to select the ends, so for that I am using a group expression with the following vex snippet. Testing if the X position of the points is bigger than the bounding box mean plus the size of the bounding box X multiplied by the percentage you want to keep. You can play with the value to select more or less pieces. Now for the last one, I created uh, this dome with a loop and some displacement. Started with a tube and did some extrusions inside the loop. Make sure you set the loop to fetch feedback if you're doing modeling operations like this. So in order to create the spherical effect, you will need some basic math. In this case, the power function will work just fine and playing with the values till you have the desired shape. We will need UVs for the displacement, so in order to keep a consistent pattern, I am creating seams across each level and flattening the islands into rectangular shapes, so we have the UVs correctly oriented for the dome. Finally, in a point swap, importing some displacement textures and mixing them with a composite node set to overlay and use the displace along normals vop. So that's basically it, I hope you have learned something new and feel free to grab the example files from my Patreon and huge thanks for everyone that already is supporting me over there. So yeah, thank you and see you in the next one.